popular as seen on TV product that's supposed to add a little light around your property, but some say it can be flat out dangerous. And in tonight's Two on Your Side, CBS 2's Christine Lazar has more on why some consumers are giving these uh, lights a less than glowing review, Christine. Susie and Rick, these lights, they look great in the commercials. They're cheap, they're easy to install, and they are 100% solar. But some customers say they're just not safe. Introducing Everbright, the new wireless solar powered light. They're designed to quickly and easily light up the dark areas around your home. Now you can put a light wherever you like. But according to some consumers, Everbright is providing more than just a little extra light. When I look, it was a fire. It had actually exploded and caught fire. Diana Regan lives in Tahunga and Alton Bell lives in Maryland. They both bought the solar lights from the official Everbright website last year. Alton put one up on his back deck. Diana's was on her garage. Both say the lights worked pretty well at first, but then. But I look and there's smoke rising up from the corner of the deck. The actual device had fallen off and was now burning on fire. Um, on the ground. This is where my light was and I came home from work and found it had burned down. I found most of it on the ground. And apparently Alton and Diana are not alone. It's pretty scary what I was reading. There are a number of customer reviews on multiple sites indicating that they've had a similar experience with the Everbright lights catching fire. We've also tracked down another Everbright customer who lives in New Jersey. She didn't want to go on camera, but she sent us these photos of what was left of her light after she said it, quote, exploded and flew about 15 to 20 feet off her deck. These are all, all separated to different complaints. Both Diana and Alton have filed complaints with the Consumer Product Safety Commission. CBS 2 News contacted Ontel Products Corp, Everbright's parent company, and received this statement. Ontel Products Corporation strives to provide consumers with quality solutions and customer service and is committed to ensuring the safety of all its products. The Everbright light meets or exceeds all applicable safety regulations required by law for this type of product in the USA. There is no recall or even warning about Everbright lights, and they are still sold in stores nationwide. But that's exactly what concerns Alton and Diana. They want to make sure people know about their experiences before they buy the product. Just keep an eye on it. You know, it's probably going to be okay, but uh, definitely don't take it for granted. I'm thankful. It really could have been worse. Everything I own is in the garage. So I would have lost it all. They need to stop selling the lights, in my opinion. Diana says she's made multiple complaints to Everbright and Ontel since her fire in early March. She only recently got a response. Ontel is asking her to provide a repair quote for the damage caused by the light. Alton, he tells us, he's still waiting to hear back. We also have an update tonight on a story we brought you on Wednesday. 86-year-old Dodgers superfan Tilly Alatori was able to watch the game from her living room last night. The cable company had told them they couldn't get the service without paying about $1,000 in construction costs to drill under the street. Two on your side stepped in and Spectrum found a way to get her her cable without any additional costs. And another resolution, a disabled vet was faced with a $6,000 utility bill in Anaheim. Two on your side stepped in and the utility cut his bill by more than $2,600. And crews went out to the house to make sure that it's energy efficient. And they're helping them transfer over some of their appliances and they're going to get that bill down and they're putting it on hold until they figure out all the problems. All so. Right. Good news. All right. They're very happy. Yeah, Christine. people need help. And yeah, that's right. Good that we can do it. We're that. here. Yeah, thank, thank you. you.